And then the pictures here, I, um, I was saying to Clark that um, one of the things that was cool about this weekend is that we actually did have an Easter egg hunt. And, and I've learned my motto for this disease really is not to have any expectations. And the reason for that is because when you're having a good day, you're like, wow, that was great. But when things don't go that well, you're not as devastated. So I just go into every single day like, okay, let's see what happens. And I, I, this was my granddaughter and my mom last Easter when she was two. And my mom, you can see her hands out. It's probably one of the best pictures I ever have taken. The Alzheimer's Association used that for their website. And my mom's hands are out. And of course, two minutes later, she doesn't even remember anything about it. And so she looks at the picture and she says, did I catch the ball? And I said, yes, she did. And she's like, yay, me. So you know, she's pretty excited you know, with herself. So that was when I learned that um, they were so good together as um, playmates that my daughter and I, we now get them together, you know, at least a couple times a month so that they can play together, which is, you know, really kind of cool. And that's my 56th birthday in January. Of course, you know, she didn't remember me, and that's her 86th birthday a few weeks ago. And this was really cool. Last week I was in Cincinnati, Ohio, at an Arden Court, and they make teddy bears for their dementia patients, something to hold on to and all that. They were nice enough to give me one to take home for my mom. And so when I gave it to her, she wouldn't put it down. So she's reading the Palm Sunday Bulletin from church <laughs> and holding the, uh, the teddy bear with the other hand. So I, I think I learned multitasking from my mom because she just absolutely you know, wouldn't put it down. And then there the two of them are. You see my granddaughter's a lot taller now at three. And uh, there they are, this year's Easter egg hunt. And she doesn't have a clue what she's doing, but when she got out there, she saw all the brightly colored eggs and they were running and, and to get the, uh, fill up their bucket. And it was just the coolest thing. You can see there they are collaborating on who's gonna get the little yellow one there. And as long as she can get out there and do that Easter egg hunt, I'm gonna continue to do it. And you know, we just have to find things that they can relate to. And again, I don't know if it's the color or whatever it is, that you know she loves about it but they love being together my granddaughter clearly gets that there's something not quite right there she doesn't know what it is she the rest of us she bosses around sit there grammy go over here and do that but with my mother she simply does everything for her so in that picture she's gonna grandma doesn't have enough eggs in her basket so she's putting some additional eggs in that's really what was happening in that picture so she you're not sure why she makes that connection there's a book that i've bought that they suggest you start to talk to your kids about four, age four, uh, you know, some of the reasons that grandma's that way. So we already have the book and are sort of planning, but they're kind of doing their own thing and it works for me. So they did that for about 35 minutes. It's the longest activity, you know, any of them, either of them do individually, and it's really worked well. And so I, you know, I just thank God for it in terms of um, the ability to get out and do it. I mean, see, she can bend down and everything, <laughs> or as we like to bend down and get back up. You know, a lot of us can bend down. It's the getting back up thing that, that is probably the issue. So, you know, that's probably my greatest thing. And so, you know, I kind of leave you with this. You know, what is on the road ahead? I don't think we know. I think that we have to be prepared for everything and be ready for everything. Every day is a different day. And I think that that's how we have to, you know, just kind of live it. And so this is one of my favorite things. I saw this on that Us Against Alzheimer's web, uh, website a few uh, weeks ago, and I think this really says it all. Starting today, I need to forget what's gone, appreciate what still remains, and then look forward to what comes next. And I get really aggravated when other people don't respect my mom. How I got the female neurologist I have now is because I f sort of fired the first one. You know, he wanted my mom to take Aricep and all that, and it almost killed her. My mother had the ultimate side effect, and that it stopped her heart. And had it, she and I not been in the doctor's office together, she'd be dead. And we were practicing her grocery lists, and she stopped answering the questions. And I turned around, her eyes were wide open, and she was not breathing. And so when the neurologist, you know, the first one, said, I said, well, you know, she doesn't want to take anything. Well, you know, she has to take it unless, you know, you want her to, you know, forget everything. Well, she's done that anyway. And so I basically just fired him and went to somebody else. And the, the lady that she has now also treats, I want somebody, I want everybody to treat her with respect. And so the reason why I love her and talk about her so much in the book is that they spend 15 minutes talking just amongst themselves. And of course, every question she asks, my mother gets wrong, but she doesn't correct her or anything. Then she says, can I ask your daughter a few questions? My mom says, yes. Then we have our conversation. I correct everything my mother says. So it's just great. But she has her own little time with her, they hold hands. My mother loves her. And so, you know, I want everybody. I don't just treat her with respect. I want other people too. And then we just switch people who <laughs> don't do that. So that's the easiest way to answer that. Thank you, though. That's a great question. Anything else? Well, thank you. So thank you, guys, so much. <laughs>